So here we'll take a look at dividing fractions. So when dividing fractions, we invert the second fraction. In other words, turned upside down and multiply as normal. So there's an example on the left. We'll complete one ourselves here on the right hand side. So if we had 3 fifths divided by 2 over 3, what we do is we keep the first fraction the same, but we'd invert the second one. So 2 over 3 become 3 over 2 and we multiply. So when we multiply, we multiply numerator by numerator. So that's 3 by 3, which is 9. And multiply denominator by denominator. 5 by 2 is equal to 10. So we get a final answer of 9 over 10. So 3 over 5, when it's divided by 2 over 3, we get an answer of 9 over 10. All we do is simply invert the fraction on the right and multiply. Next, we'll look at some real-life examples where this might be used. So every hurling game has two halves. How many halves are in seven games? So you might say intuitively straight away, there's 14. But how might we represent that mathematically? So we've got seven games. We want to know how many halves are in each game. So seven is the same as seven over one. So to find out how many halves are in each game, we'll divide by a half. So seven over one divided by one over two. That's the same as seven over one multiplied by, we invert it, 2 over 1. 7 by 2 is 14, over 1 by 1, which is 1, and that's equal to 14. And we knew that would be the answer anyway. So there's 14 halves in 7 hurling games. But that's how you'd represent it mathematically if you were to figure it out. The next question would be a little trickier. So every American football game has four quarters. So how many quarters would there be in two and a half games. So that might take a little bit of thought. If we're to figure it out mathematically, so we've two and a half games, we want to find out how many quarters are in two and a half games. So we divide by one over four. We have to convert the two and a half into just a single fraction. So two and a half is the same as five over two. So it's 5 over 2 divided by 1 over 4. So when we're dividing, we invert the fraction on the right and multiply. So it'd be 5 over 2 multiplied by 4 over 1. So we just inverted the 1 over 4. 5 by 4 is 20. 2 by 1 is 2. So it's 20 over 2. So the answer is 10. So the answer to the question how many quarters would there be in two and a half games? The answer is 10. So there'd be 10 quarters in two and a half games. So the key thing to remember here, when dividing by a fraction, we invert it and multiply. So we are dividing by a quarter, so we just invert that and multiply. So we're multiplying by four over one. So here are two more simple examples. So we have a third divided by two over seven. That's equal to 1 over 3 multiplied by 7 over 2. So we're inverting it and multiplying. So 1 by 7 is 7, 3 by 2 is 6. So it's 7 over 6 or 1 and 1 sixth. The reason it's 1 and 1 sixth is 6 and 7 goes once, remainder 1. In the next example, 3 over 5 divided by 4 over 9. So again, we invert the fraction on the right and multiply. So 4 over 9 becomes 9 over 4. When we're multiplying, it's top by top. 3 by 9 is 27. Bottom by bottom, 4 by 5 is 20. So it's 27 over 20, or 1 and 7 over 20. The reason for that is 20 into 27 goes once, remainder 7. So it's 1 and 7 over 20.